Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Long War of the Chosen Legendary Iron Man playthrough Into the Void. It is time for our East Africa mission Operation Perilia's Wheel because a couple of nasty, nasty um, spies in the form of faceless ones have infiltrated. So let's get rid of that and kill all of them. Uh, so we're immediately going there and are deploying a team. Let's go. Okay, we landed. So shall we together go and try to kill all of uh, the faceless ones? I would say the only answer to that can be a resounding yes. Got some nice little kill zone here. We got a coil rifle, oh, okay. These guys are very equipped. We got um, extra mechanized he heat warheads and um, ever vigilant, cool. Oh, look at that, we got executioner and cool under pressure. Unfortunately, they only gave uh, them a coil gun, so not that great. A sub coiler and we got another sub coil over here cool and big fat charge shotgun okay well we definitely got uh, nicely equipped resistance operatives now it's just a matter of getting up close and personal and teaching these faceless ones a valuable lesson not to screw around with XCOM. Okay, we've uh, just spotted something. <clears throat> Very good. I'm on the move. Arc light takes the high ground. I'm all over it. Okay. Well. We should be able to get these guys down. Got it. Arc light goes a little bit closer. We don't want to trigger anything yet. Shotgun, however, moves up, of course. Those with many hit points should go all the way to the front. Good. Let's hope these guys are not moving away too far. They are not, which is great. All right, kill zone does not um, reach that far Affirmative. Moving out. but but we can fortify and kill the uh, zone from here that's a good one nothing gets me as excited as a good kill zone Stun Lancer, shotgun to the face. <laughs> 12 points of damage, lovely. Very nice, good job, Arc Light. Fabulous. It's very, very solid damage. Maybe should have hit the heavy gunner with our um, shotgun first. Why is it just 51 now? Oh, because it's a rookie. No, he must be somewhere in cover. 
Elsewise, this is not explainable. Yeah, he's behind that cover. Okay. Understood? So it's a placement error. Nasty. I was sort of expecting that we might run into something. Oh wow, two faces ones. And vipers, viper snipers. Yep, yeah, that's going to hurt. Luckily we do have a kill zone. So if they come closer, that's still going. Now the pain starts. We are in cover, so that's the good news. The bad news is... Oh wow, they absolutely suck at uh, hitting us. I was about to say the bad news is... God, why is he shooting? Oh, because the door is closed. This here did not provide line of sight. Oh, that's unlucky for them. That is unlucky for them. And we were quite lucky. This should have triggered kill zone. Not good. Oh, okay. Good, listen, we got traverse fire, which would allow us to take these guys down. The question then is how do we deal with the flank over there? Right? Shotgun is more efficient if we can act... Ah, okay, and we do have an overwatch. Mm, traverse fire is really good. I don't want to give that up, but I also don't want to stand here forever. Moving slightly back, that should trigger the overwatch. Uh, he has guardian, I think, so there will be more overwatches. No, he does not. Okay, we're lucky. Very weak hit. Moving over with a shotgun. Very nice damage. Don't slow me down. That's an actual rifle. I would not use that. We instead use the Mac rifle. Okay, now that this guy is gone, we can get into a flanking position, keep the front line going. Ah, almost got the scout, almost, but almost is not quite getting it. Too far away for a grenade. One hit. Now I want the hundred percent chance of killing him. Boom. 
All right, free reload. Now that's a 50-50, right? But that prevents him from shooting us. Oh, okay. Oh, and he is a scout here at Shadow Step. Okay, Advent is surprising me with a couple of uh, their tricks. We have a couple of their tricks. Seventy percent is unfortunately a no show. Whatever you say. Subcoiler into a flanking position. <clears throat> Eighty percent is a no show. Should have used the grenade there. Another flanking position. This time with a nice little crit. Can't believe that that is not hitting. That car might explode. I might be lucky. Nope, does not explode, but we can make it difficult for them to hit. Needs to reload. Well, that was unfortunate, full cover. I'm ready. Hitting full cover shots with disorientation. Good, sniper is gone, finally. We're almost in a position to flank this guy. Couple of hits, we'll go a long way here. And we keep him flashbang. Didn't really work that well last turn. But maybe it's going to be a bit better this time. Full cover. Open the door. And teach him a lesson. Good. Could that have been played cleaner? Oh yeah, absolutely. We acceptable is potentially the right word for that. We lost two uh, faces one, or we cleaned out two faces once, and we lost one operative. That's minus three. The lost operative hurts a bit. The faces once is good because it means that we have a chance to not recruit faces once. And having Haven Advisors that can actually deal a lot of damage is godsend.
got a lot of corpses on top of that. Okay, <clears throat> well, look. We still have five left over and we're continuing to recruit. Uh, that's the best we can do. Setting course for Indonesia. Is it great? No, but we had eight with two this faces once an and that wasn't great either. We just did not know about it. <clears throat> good, we got a, uh, a real good sniper now. Referred to by our troop. Refraction field is good and acid grenades are actually not bad. <clears throat> because acid grenades allow you to very effectively shred. Now we got uh, the storm gun, which is the last weapon that we need. The last of the plasma weapons, that is. XUS 6 is finally ready. I think we had Murphy and I mentioned he's becoming a sniper. <clears throat> As in most of our playthroughs, he's a sniper. XQ6, very much welcome to the team. Really appreciate uh, having you on board. Body shield would be cool. Emergency life support isn't bad for him. But I think we're just going with advanced defense. War Combat Rush is not bad either, but let's go with advanced defense so that he's more difficult to hit. Good. Got a new target for an engineer. That's not bad. Seven days. I like it. Setting course for sector four, Chile. We got ten engineers and eleven's one wouldn't hurt. We need them uh, for the liberated areas. Iron hands can very much do that. Let me equip them and upgrade just a bit of the equipment. Okay, there wasn't much upgrading to do, simply because I don't have the funds to give everybody really good guns, so magnetic for them must be good enough. Good, we're continuing to heal. And now all of the missions are coming. Uh, ambush, that's a fantastic mission. And the Berserker Queen is there, which is another great uh, reason to get there. Commander Tygen and Shen aren't going to be happy if we don't put the Skulljack to good use. We should have one of our soldiers equip it before they deploy. Well, none of those guys are ready, which means the only ones who are sort of ready are the Imperial Fists. And they would need to deploy without Axenroth. Which brings us to the question. There's certainly another Shinobi, Flynn here, who could lead them. And I think we have room for one more Psy Operative. Yeah, I can make that work. Give me a second. All right, we landed at exactly 100% infiltration, which is good. Needed to buy a plasma um, uh, heavy gun, so that the Berserker Queen, if we actually encounter her, will get sh um, ruptured and shredded. That's important. Uh, she potentially doesn't have armor anymore, but still the rupturing is very important. And finally, all of the missions are coming in. Another engineer 
uh, liberation mission down here. Cannot not do that. That's an important one. And for the first time, luckily, we're actually seeing that we're being very light on our troops. Oh, cool. Very good. So let's see what, who we can master. We still got a couple of, I would call them free agents. Grenadier Ranger. Another Grenadier. And another Grenadier. That's going to be the Grenadier squad. Then a few Psy operatives. How much more room do we even have? It's going to be a four person mission. Do we have a heavy mech that could help us? Someone who can actually carry that run? Good, so what are we fighting? 15 enemies with four people. I think we need to boost that. We're going to get an engineer, but we're paying uh, with a bit of intel. Can that be a six person mission is the question. And the more important one is, do we even have another person? I mean, we could take a specialist there. Barely six people. Let me try to equip them. All right. Okay, good. Well, this difficult decision needed to be made. We again bought a plasma rifle because someone needs to carry that particular run. And there's going to be a boost. Might as well bite the bullet now. We're down to 130 into. But we're going to do that and we're going to be successful. Not an optimal spot to do that. I was complaining about the lack of missions. I think I've been a bit over enthusiastic in terms of infiltrating an HQ here and infiltrating an HQ there and infiltrating a tower there at the same time and scanning actively for missions because that leads us to a lot of missions that need to be done now-ish. Got a lot of uh, people that are coming back from their wounds Resistance management. West Asia finally gets a bit more recruits. Very nice. Good. In terms of overall soldiers that are available, of course, we do have a couple of high level soldiers that. Theoretically could do that. Top bite is down to 12 days of wounded. So that already made a huge um, stride in the right direction. Mm. Everybody else infiltrating. We got invisible um, strawman, aka argument. Six hours and Axenroth is back in action. Got a couple of Psy operatives, but that's not really a full team, so to speak. Which brings us to the SWATs. 
everybody is already on a mission and then the missions themselves i wish we could stop the geoscape from turning so this needs to happen a bit fast so that we're not uh, that we're not wasting a lot of time no 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 salamander's almost ready this one here four days could could go and the aspirants too early too early where are oh yeah we got even more headquarter infiltration ultramarines chosen stronghold is not being infiltrated yeah well everybody's infiltrating and we get this mission here hack the workstation for intel Four days could be something that we can three men question mark. Still a lot of baseline activity for four days. Four days isn't perfect. That would mean we need to spend Intel in order to gain Intel. Um, yeah, I think we will need to pass on that mainly not because i don't have soldiers available we could potentially get that one going but i don't see that this is uh, going to be done in a reasonable time just got it a little bit too late axenroth uh, got his training which is good let's just double check it's not a lot of potential trainees there do we have even negative traits no we no one has negative traits at the moment yeah well look it is what it is something just got to a hundred percent all right the salamanders down here And that will be our next mission. Let's do that now so that the salamanders are free. Uh, uh, Chrysalid infiltrators are certainly not optimal, but we could do that mission. Salamanders are free and then they can take basically whatever else is going to come up, which naturally brings us uh, to the end of today's episode. Although, let me just double check really quickly. Nah, we're already up for half an hour. It was a short mission, but a lot of uh, management. Not optimal, but it is what it is. Uh, it's funny, by the way, that the game tells me that my force is under uh, strength, which, considering how many soldiers we do have, is really, really funny to hear. But yeah, anyways, we're going to address that in the future. Thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate uh, your viewership and uh, see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye bye.